microphone, just keeping quiet for a second, listening to the different sounds. <laughs> leopard! 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 I see a leopard! I see a leopard! Oh no, that wasn't for the leopard, that was for a potential threat. Uh, another Egyptian goose coming in to their patch of water. Now, Egyptian geese can actually fight quite aggressively, uh, and uh, I actually thought they were displaying at, at, at Shongile there, but I, I, then at the last second I saw the other Egyptian goose come in. It's obviously the shouting worked because the other Egyptian goose didn't land, it flew off. Well, at least it's raised Shongile's head. Now, she's waiting here, and I'm hoping that maybe an impala or a diker or something small that Shongile will be able to catch. Uh, will be on its way down to the waterhole or to the short grass area around here. Now, as I said, we're not going to move a muscle. We're going to stay right here with the Princess of Juma while we do that. Let's go see how Jamie's morning is going. Well, she's moved off the dam wall. She's come down to this little pan behind the dam, and I think she's in search of terrapins. Come on, catch. Well, and our tech team has managed to fix YouTube, so a big welcome to everyone on YouTube. Uh, sorry about the delay this morning. As you can see, we're with the exquisitely beautiful one, Shongile. And uh, she's quite hungry, but it's amazing how young leopards survive when they are left alone from their moms. They will eat grasshoppers, they will eat terrapins, tortoises, any little bit of sustenance to survive. Scrub hairs, bush felt, gerbils, tiny fat mice, cane rats, all sorts of rodents is what she'll be surviving off at the moment. Oh, you're so pretty! Hi, James. James is wondering what would be the largest prey Shongile is going to be able to hoist up a tree. Well, James, at the moment, at her age and her size, uh, probably nothing more than sort of a, maybe not even an adult diker might be right at the, the limit of her range. Now, you can hear another vehicle. Uh, Rexon's come to join us. So she's moving around the the edge there look how flat her ears are and she is moving very slowly hoping to find a meal on the edge of this pan you can see she's looking looking very carefully now i saw uh, some of the footage from when uh, jamie was with her and uh, she definitely looks like she's maybe eaten a little bit since then she is still very hungry but it's very good practice for her uh, to learn how to survive. Oh, she is so pretty. There we go. Now, this is often when leopards master the art of stalking. In this period when they're left alone for a long time, when they're quite young, and they're forced to fend for themselves. No, pretty girl. <laughs> She's looking into the, the shallows and into the long grass. Now, unfortunately for her, this cold morning means the terrapins are probably not too many of them around the edge. I definitely think that's what she's looking for. Now, there are some white-faced ducks in this pan as well. And I wonder if they've got some young ones, that would be an excellent meal for a young leopard. Now, while she's perusing the pan, we're going to go say a good morning to the bushwalk team. And I've been waiting to say this for quite some time. We are going to go to Bond and Batman. <laughs> <laughs> 